Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we are going to be sanding and polishing this centre section of the mould uh, and the front piece there as well ready for moulding. So last time we applied the Dura build which we just uh, painted on with a, with a brush actually so that's gone on nice and thick. So what we're going to do is hit that with some 120 grit and then work our way up through the grit, so 240, 400, 600, 800 and finally with 1000, 2000 and then get it polished up. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we finish sanding and polishing the plug. So we've sanded this with uh, 120, 320, 600, 800, 1000 and 2000. And then we've finished off with a rubbing compound. So I don't know if you can see that, that finish, but that's pretty glossy. So that's the Juratec. And now what we'll do is apply um, probably six to eight coats of wax on that. So, that is all ready pretty much to take a mold. We've just, just got to do a little bit of fine tuning on this edge, which we'll do that tomorrow now. So we'll just finish that off by hand. And then we've also got to put a piece of um, wood here um, to basically split off the mold. So we'll probably hot glue gun that on. So we'll put one piece on just, just to one side to create a center line. Um, and then we'll be able to uh, mold mold that side and then we're also going to put up um, some insulation because it's pretty cold outside it's about four degrees at the moment um, and we need to be molding at probably around 20 degrees so the plan is to put some insulation uh, up in the ceiling here with some fiberglass and then we're going to create a curtain here with some uh, down here with some polythene, so that will create a small space that we can heat uh, and take a mould. So we'll leave it for this evening and we'll be back in the morning. So it's the next morning guys, and we are gonna be plasticining this morning. So we need to get some plasticine in these edges down here. And uh, we'll be using our special little plasticine molding tool, what we call that. <laughs> <laughs> and balls, balls yeah, balls. plasticine balls, and um, and also we need to put some plasticine in this corner. So we basically hot glue gunned in this this board here, and um, so you can see around the back. So that's just held in with hot glue, so we can take that off. And then basically we'll be able to put plasticine down this, and that will give us a centre line that we can mould to. And we're also going to run a little bit of plasticine along here. So let's get started. <laughs>
we've laid in all the plasticine. So I'll just give you a quick close up of that. So we've laid that inside this edge here. So we've just used the, uh, the special rounding ball and we found that using a heat gun and heat that plasticine up a little bit really helped us mold that into the corners. So that'll give us a nice radius in those corners now. So we've done that, excuse that, we've got a bit of water coming in. So we've got a nice radius all the way along here. So what we're gonna do now is give the mold a bit of a clean. So get rid of all of this dust. And then eight coats of wax. So um, we're gonna get that on now. Okay, so we've applied eight coats of wax. So this is really shiny now. This is a great finish for, for molding. Also, we've applied the plasticine in the corners to give us the, the radiuses that we need. And we'll be molding up to this edge here. So just underneath here about there. And that will then give us a, a lip that we can glass to the main hull. And we've also waxed inside there and also all the way down this edge let's just see it again and we'll mold up to that break there so we'll be molding from here all the way to this back piece here and then down across and up there so that's going to be the wrap for today guys and we'll be back with the next video which will be applying the Optima Olden Gel uh, to this part of the molding. Okay, that's it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of any future videos. And we'll be back soon with another video on our project boat. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.